Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Women Empowerment Series with me today, Farisha. And we have a very lovely guest joining us, it's Anja Julia. Assalamualaikum. Hi Anja, how are you? Um, thank you, Farisha. It's really an honor for me to have you in my show, Women Empowerment Series. Thank you for being here. Thank you for inviting me. Okay, Anja, can you introduce me more about yourself? All right. Uh, full name, Anja Julia Abu Bakar. is my real name, not my uh, I mean, stage name or glamour name. Uh, because uh, many people didn't know that Anja is actually my real name. And yeah, friends called me Anja, family called me Anja. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm from Banting, mm -hmm. but now I'm uh, just married, live in Sri Kemangan for 21 years already. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm an, an entrepreneur, uh, have been full-time entrepreneur since uh, July 2012. Um, and I run a social enterprise called Athena Empowers, where mm -hmm. we uh, manufactured uh, produce uh, sanitary product and diaper and uh, what our social cause is we champion in empowering young girls and women with life skill education and entrepreneurship skill so that's what I do but as a person um, I'm a dreamer um, and um, I like to invite my friends to, <laughs> to, to, to dream together and my friends called me their Berangan coach because I really, I think, um, <laughs> uh, serious dreamer. Um, yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's about me. Uh, I'm married uh, but with no children. Okay, and we both say, uh, share the same dream, yeah, and also common goal. We both su uh, support and empower women and girls. So high five. Okay, Anja, moving on to the next question. What is the most challenging moment in your career and how do you overcome it? How do you overcome the challenging situation? Yeah, uh, the first, uh, the most challenging is to overcome fear, where it's, where it's actually an internal fear. Yeah. Uh, because I'm, in, I'm working in a corporate, uh, with corporate and in uh, oil and gas industry. Mm -hmm. uh, companies uh, and to have uh, your own product and um, while working I, st I actually uh, my weekend was really busy because that's when the time I can actually sell my product before mm -hmm. I decided to resign from the company mm -hmm. and uh, the first uh, it took me about uh, one year to, to leave the company because the fear is there because I'm already mm -hmm. in my comfort zone Okay. Uh, by uh, one entrepreneur, she mm -hmm. said uh, it was in November 2011 mm -hmm. when she said, uh, "If you, if you, if you're still uh, working while doing business, it shows that you are not, you are not hungry enough and you are not serious." So uh, I was quite um, upset <laughs> with uh, that statement, but uh, I took it uh, positively. Mm -hmm. I planned. I, uh, about seven, eight months uh, before I finally leave the company. Mm. Uh, and the other thing is that in um, facing with customers, with yes. people, uh, when I sell my product, because I mean, you are, oh, you are me sitting there in the comfort office, uh, but suddenly on weekend, you are like, like anyone, like any other people who sell things. And uh, it's not easy actually for me to like suddenly put mm -hmm. myself in, become another person. So mm, mm -hmm. it took me about uh, almost two years to like mm -hmm. let go my ego, just be humble, just receive the, uh, no complaint. Uh, so that's the the fear, uh, overcoming fear, mm -hmm. and, and I think. Uh, external, I mean the the response, uh, the the support that I received, that I did not receive, especially from my uh, close family and friends. Um, uh, but luckily, I have the husband that really support me from the Thank day you. I start. Yes, alhamdulillah. Yeah. Thankful for that. Uh, inter for 
for that kind of support although mm -hmm. I don't need resource, I need other support but I think that's enough so that's the challenge uh, when I uh, started the business Yes, amazing journey, Anja, and the support system, yeah, from your husband. That's really important because we need, as a woman, we need the support system from our significant other, right, to 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 make us move forward. And the support system makes us, you know, feel that we want to go further in life. Yes. Okay. Now the next question: What does woman empowerment means to you? Wow, uh, okay. Uh, it's something that you can easy to, to, to just say, okay, woman empowerment, I support woman empowerment. But when you are really out there, want to like, you first need to empower yourself to be brave, to, to just like uh, let go all the negativity, the complaints. I mean, you um, master yourself. You you would allow any negative to come to you. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, empowerment means a uh, woman empowerment means you have to empower yourself first. Yes. You have to be, um, and uh, then only you can empower others. So it's a woman that um, know where where they want to go. Know, know what, what they, they want. want. Yes. Need other people to like ask them to do other things. Uh, so no uh, woman that knows her vision, knows uh, her right, and also the woman that love herself. Uh, yes. I mean, of course, love yourself and respect yourself before. Uh, I mean, so that you will uh, invite other people to also love and respect yourself. Yes, yeah, self love. Self-love and self-care, that's really important. You have to love yourself first and self-care. Okay, now moving on to the next question. Who are the most inspirational women that you admire in Malaysia and also internationally? Uh, okay, I started to get to know other women empowerment when after I uh, left the company, when mm -hmm. I started to... Uh, I mean, mingle with all these women entrepreneurs, and I think um, I started to have a lot of uh, support from them. And these are the women that uh, that that together when we all uh, started our journey, like uh, 10, 11 years ago. So because mm -hmm. before the company, I made myself active uh, by joining many um, NGOs. Yes, and societies, organizations. I can say that uh, the woman, my close friends, I mean, the woman entrepreneurs are my ideal. I mean, to see them struggle, I mean, like together we are all uh, been there, struggle, and now we like, uh, we know that where they are now, and I'm so happy to be with them, so happy to know them because these are, this will be like, uh, we, we want to share our, I mean, uh, how mm -hmm. we overcome uh, all the our challenges. Challenges, yeah. Um, these are all the, the my female women entrepreneur friends. Uh, they are my ideal. Uh, I didn't have like any specific, but to see how we have been, uh, I mean, we've gone through all the challenges too. Yeah, but international, I do have one or two. Uh, of mm -hmm. course, there are also women entrepreneurs. Definitely, uh, the most that inspired me a lot is uh, Madam C J Walker, the the wow. the one that tell the the hair tonic. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like with all the challenges, she she made it and become and made herself a millionaire. Uh, and then, uh, of course, I also admire Jessica Alba for wow. her work with this company. I mean, yeah, yeah, you are a celebrity, but to run a business is totally diff need a different skill. Mm -hmm. And I mean, and she do an ethical product. The Honest Company is a, a mm -hmm. one of the ethical product. And I really wish that my uh, like we will. One day, OEM, uh, our product for her company. <laughs> wow. And Dream big, inshallah. You never know. You never know. Dream big, aim high, visualize and manifest. You never know, inshallah. You might reach, the, uh, reach there one day. Yeah. Uh, 
invented one international uh, uh okay uh, this uh, lady Deshana Barber she's like failed for six times uh, to become Miss Universe I mm -hmm. mean uh, because of her strong character like someone uh, suddenly told her that she can become uh, a Miss Universe Miss World and she yeah. herself doubt herself uh, becoming one but she never failed enter and enter for the sixth time until she finally got it become the uh, Miss Universe so it's all about determination yeah. it's all about belief it's all about the mindset it's all about believing in yourself the mindset and belief that you can do it yeah <laughs> a lot of yeah. them but okay that's Enough, yeah, and how about another one? One more, one more inspirational woman leaders. The one that uh, still uh, uh, yet to to for me to meet her. I believe I'm gonna meet her one day. Uh, is Malala Yousafzai. Wow. Uh, uh, I am very it's confident. Gonna meet her. So she's uh, also one you know, of my idol in like. Uh, that made me into woman empowerment, supporting this woman empowerment. <laughs> Malala Yousafzai, she's such a brave young lady. Yeah, because after what's happening to her in the past, you know, she's very brave because she wanted an education. Yeah, she wanted an education and she stand up for it. She stand up for her rights. And that is what we girls and women have to do we have to go for it go for what we want go for our dream chase our dream okay and now moving on to the final question of the show the last question for today what is your advice for the young ladies out there okay um okay to all young ladies or girls out there um uh, Ask yourself what you want, what makes you happy, and what's your dream? What is your like uh, in 20, 30 years from now, where are you? I mean, do have uh, this Goal. uh, passion, yeah. goals, and you must be hungry enough to achieve your goal. It must be positive, lah, like, can uh, definitely positive, yes, and can uh, empower other people, uh, and inspire more people to. Um, achieve whatever dreams that they have so uh before you do anything always 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 knows your dream make before you make any decision also uh, know your dream know what you want know what you love and um and do what you love <laughs> yes and don't yeah. be afraid yeah don't be afraid to try something new uh, get out of your comfort zone so keluar daripada zone selesa kita kita cuba benda yang baru keluar daripada our comfort zone i believe like um we cannot fear failure of course when you embark to do something new you will have this kind of fear that fear yes. of failure mm -hmm. but uh, uh, i think before you start to fear be terrified mm -hmm. I mean, uh, if you are not trying, yeah, uh, don't be terrified of uh, regret. So before you fear of anything, uh, be terrified. Kalau uh, apa, if you are not take any action. Yes, and the same thing goes to me as well. Uh, I have things that I'm fear of. I also have things that are my strength and also my weaknesses. So we, we have to try, we have to try something new and don't be afraid to try it. So we have to conquer our fear. So it's all in the mind, our mindset. Yes, okay, we have come up to the end of the show. Okay, Anja, do you have anything that you want to share with our viewers today? Any tips, any advice? Um, okay, I mean, um, any advice? And uh, know what you want because I've seen so many women that have no idea what they want and end up do uh, other things that please uh, that please other people. Mm -hmm. So uh, write your goal. Write some uh, on. Uh, I on mean, a you piece of paper receive, or in a notepad, in a notepad or a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, write your dream. You need to like always be reminded. So that you know your you will always focus to achieve uh, to the to your goal. 
So your advice would be for young ladies and also women out there to write their goals on a piece of paper and also uh, it can be in a form of notepad or diary and then try to manifest and also achieve that goal and dream. Uh, every year, I will have uh, my uh, like um, a year uh, a year goal. I mean, like what I want to achieve in that particular year. So wow, I always have a dream book uh, of what I want to achieve for that uh, coming year. So uh, I also have like long term dream book. Uh, so. That's why I'm a barangan coach. I have guide my friends to also have their barangan book. <laughs> so you have all the dreams, all the list of goals and dreams that you want to accomplish inside that book. Yeah, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Okay, Anja, before we go, uh, okay, for those of you who would like to follow Anja Julia, you can follow her on her Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and what is your social media account for those who would like to follow and connect with you online? On uh, LinkedIn, Anja Julia Bubaka. Mm -hmm. uh, Facebook, Anja Julia Bubaka, and mm -hmm. I uh, just started my own uh, Facebook page, Anja Julia Bubaka. <laughs> Mm, fantastic, fantastic. And we hope that more women and girls are inspired, are motivated today by your inspirational stories and also tips and advice and your sharing today. And for those of you who would like to follow Anja Julia, follow her on Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn at Anja Julia. Till then, stay safe, take care, bye. Bye Anja, Assalamualaikum. Thank you for being in my show. Okay, bye. Bye.